highly requested topic you guys have been asking for luxury upgrades that are not going to break your bank. Follow me. First thing you want to do if you want to create a luxury feel and look that is everlasting and evergreen, what you want to do is find the very good basic pieces that are of quality. Once you have your grounding pieces, like I do in this room with the sofa, everything else can come and go over time and all you really have to do is maybe reupholster one piece. So let's talk about how you can find these pieces. You can certainly find pieces like the one I have in my living room, Mario Bellini on eBay. You can also find them on Cherish.com, but you can also find pieces at estate sales. I have found a majority of incredible sofas that I have found over my lifetime have been at estate sales from the 50s and 60s and 70s because they're timeless and reupholstering them really is no big deal considering what you're getting in return. You're getting really high quality made pieces. So what I would do is I would go into eBay and I'm gonna give you a couple prompts. The idea behind my videos and this one in particular and the ones that are coming up is to give you actionable suggestions. So you can go right now to eBay and I would type Mario Bellini sofa. I would type vintage sofa and look for the ones that are not new look for the ones that are used, you're going to find an incredible array of furniture pieces that are gonna work for you. I would also search for teeny sofa. These are all gonna be on the screen so that you can either save this video or screenshot this or take a photo. I would also try Togo sofa and mid-century modern sofa vintage. All of these prompts are gonna take you down a beautiful search path of fantastic sofas. Guys, we are so close. We're getting close to 100,000. So that is our goal. Did you know that 70% of you who watch this channel regularly have not subscribed? We are trying to make everyone subscribe so that we can get to that 100,000 goal. It would be a dream of mine come true and I would just be so appreciative. There is no gatekeeping at Nina Takesh Designs. None. And I'm going to give away a really big secret. So. It's so good. It's so good. And I hope you guys implement this today. So not all of us can afford million dollar art or photography. I get that. I mean, I can barely afford it myself sometimes. So I do a lot of projects where clients are doing secondary rooms, tertiary rooms, and they don't want to spend a ton of money on their walls. And I get that. I wholeheartedly believe in high low and I wholeheartedly believe in making things look really expensive when they're not and I'm really good at that so if that's the kind of consultation you want I can get that to you but here is the big mic drop is that an expression yeah. it is even the videographer Justin agrees okay here it is go to this website this is not sponsored this is what I personally do fine artamerica.com. You will not be disappointed. In fact, I sent my assistant last week to frame three different art prints for me. Right, Gabby? They were amazing. Were you dying? Okay. So what we do is we buy these photographs in the absolute largest size that we can find, whether it's a Slim Aaron, whether it's uh, you know, whatever speaks to you, photography, whether black and white or color, and then we have them framed locally by a great um, I have an amazing framer here out in Los Angeles that does it for the galleries and they are actually reasonably priced. And then we've got gorgeous art and we put these in client homes, put them in our own homes. These make fantastic gifts. Maybe you could even buy a smaller one as a gift as a Mother's Day present coming up. I think it's, they're phenomenal and the quality is unsurpassed and you can even get a giant size. Something like that normally would cost you in the thousands. Now you can get it for practically nothing. So that's my big giveaway this week. The next important thing that you can do to really wow your space and make it look more luxurious is to find rugs that really speak to you that are everlasting because you don't have to throw them out when they get stained. So 
As you can imagine, Ruggable has a plethora of rugs that are washable so that you can always have a fresh looking home. The designs are really leveled up because would you believe it that I even have a collection at Ruggable. So of course I'm gonna recommend those. Take a look at this photo of my bedroom and the rug that is placed under my bed. This rug looks so expensive. So this is a way to really level it up without spending and breaking the bank. And as you can see from Ruggable.com, you can actually shop my entire collection. And of course I'm going to agree that these are very luxurious luxurious, beautiful designs because they are based in really upscale designs. And if you put one of these in your space, as I have in my home, it's going to look like a million dollars. The next thing that you can do to really level up your home and make it uber luxurious is statement lighting. Statement lighting can be very expensive, but today with the advent of beautiful designs that are basically at a fraction of the cost through Amazon, I'm gonna suggest a couple pieces for you that I definitely would recommend via Amazon. As you can see on the screen here, we are recommending several of these lights. And these lights, believe it or not, are gonna look really beautiful in your space because they're gonna not only cast a beautiful glow, but then they also have that statement light quality. And again, everything that you see on the screen today will be linked below in the description section so you can actually purchase them. The next way to really make your home look luxurious, which you can do today, right now, is to get up from your comfortable seat after the video is over and start removing all the clutter. The simpler your home looks, the more luxurious it is going to look. It needs to look edited. Take away all the junk that's on your counter, stick them somewhere, and you're really gonna feel this awe-inspiring moment. For example, this bedroom with the red bed. What is, what is so appealing about this? What makes it look so luxurious? A, there's one beautiful pop of color, which is the bed. Everything else is neutral, which is another great suggestion. But in reality, another reason why this looks absolutely fantastic is the fact that there isn't clutter around. I can hear you guys chiming in right now saying, our homes need to be livable. And yes, they do. And there are ways of camouflaging things. And I do that all the time. For example, dog treats, I get a basket and I would stick it like behind the sofa. Like there's no reason for us to look at it. The dog can play, take the things out, and then I stick it back. Same with kids' toys. I remember a friend of mine came over to my house. This is when my son was maybe three years old. And she said, do children actually live in your home? Because it doesn't look like it. And I said, of course they do. But everything was incognito, everything was hidden. So there are easy storage solutions so that you can elevate your home and make it as minimalistic and as clean as possible. Trust me, this is a huge, easy game changer. Minimalistic often refers to mid-century because it was a time in the mid-century, in the 50s, where people were really using the less is more concept, which is coming back with quiet luxury and just a really refined, luxurious space. So some of the pieces that I love that you can actually purchase today to anchor your space, anchor your sofa, for example, is this great lamp from West Elm. This has the minimalistic vibe that you're looking for. The next critically important aspect of making your space look enormously luxurious is the power of paint. I've said it once, I'm gonna say it again. Paint transforms a room from head to toe. And I wanna give you guys, again, actionable suggestion so that you can make a change in your home today. So I'm gonna list, which I've never done before, not by any uh, purpose omission, but just because I haven't done it, but I'm gonna do it for you guys this time, is I'm gonna pick my favorite, Ferro and Ball colors and I'm gonna link it right here in this page. You guys are gonna see it, and it's also gonna be in the description section. These colors are transformative. I have tested them, I love them, and I have used them in projects, which is why I'm recommending them. These are the perfect neutrals. But for a pop of color, like this burgundy, beautiful powder room, which I am obsessed with, burgundy is the new Simply White. I just am obsessed with it. So. Having a very moody textured wall, such as this burgundy room, and I'm gonna link, of course, my favorite burgundy color from Ferro and Ball. What you can do is you can take any of the formulas from Ferro and Ball, and if there isn't one in your local neighborhood, you can have them duplicated by just sharing the formula or the paint color. So let's talk about how these paints can transform a room. You can actually use color now, which I love. 
and many of you are craving color. I'm craving so much color lately to the point where I just want to start painting on my walls. But of course, you have to do it with intention and thought behind the process. But let's say you have a bathroom that you're tired of that's really doing nothing for you. What if you painted it one solid color? Now you guys know I don't love blue, but this works for me. Perhaps it's your favorite color. It could be blue, it could be green, it could be any color that speaks to you. Paint, again, is extremely transformative. And if you find the color that speaks to you and you pair it with your second favorite color or you pair it in a combination of colors that work together, green and mustard, green and burgundy, green is a very neutral color that matches pretty much every color in the rainbow. So if you're at a loss as to what color you can do, try this beautiful minty green. This minty green is delicious, delicious. I have been using mint green powder room since before you guys were born. So it'll never go out of style. And again, I love color drenching. We talked about it last week or the week before where you are painting the entire space in one color. Baseboards, walls, molding, ceilings, everything. If you can, that is a great look. And then bring in solid drapes that are another pop of color without bringing in pattern. If you're at a loss as to what to do with your paint colors, room layouts, you guys know what you can do. You can click the link that's below in the description section, which is a Zoom consultation with me. And I'm happy to jump on the call and design your space with you. I had a call last week with this great client in London who had all of his visual boards, had all of his room uh, layouts, and we basically cherry picked furniture for him. It was so easy, he had such incredible taste as you guys do because you love design as much as I do. So if you are at a loss, make sure and click that Zoom link for a video consultation. I love meeting every single one of you. If you're not following me on these beautiful social channels, you are missing out. We are giving away the baby in the bathwater. Is that an expression? No, we're giving it all away. Even the videographer's like, no, that's not an expression, but I like it. We are giving away very good intel, where to shop, where designers go to buy their favorite pieces, how to actually negotiate them. And all of these are gonna be either TikTok or they're going to be on Instagram, stories and the like. So if you guys are not following me on either of these, we're gonna pop up the QR codes right here. You are definitely missing out. I would love to see you on our other platforms as well. The next luxury must have is, are you guys ready for it? Statement pieces. Now, what does that mean? You know, here I am sitting here on a couch giving you suggestions, but I'm giving you actionable suggestions. Find a statement piece. Again, I prefer you find these statement pieces at an estate sale. Here's another really good point. Go to estatesales.net. I've been going to statesales.net for at least a decade and I have found the most incredible things in my home. In fact, I've even featured some of them on my Instagram page, but if you go to these estate sales that are local, and if you're the first one there, the first day of the sale, you are likely to find, or the last day, by the way, is also a great day because everything's 50% off and you could find that jewel that was too overpriced in the beginning, but now is affordable. So I always go either the first, if I miss the first, because often I'm in meetings or working, I end up going on the last. And that's where I have found jewels. If you can find a statement piece from there, all the better, because the price will be just delicious. Go to SohoHome.com. By the way, they have it in many countries, Italy, UK, US, and find your statement piece. There are two or three right now that are really catching my eye that um, in fact, in one of my Zoom calls, I suggested um, with a client and we both were ooing and aahing over these, but take a look at these photos. These are actually pieces from Soho House Home. So Soho House, as you know, is a club. Soho Home is a furniture store that represents basically the look and the vibe of what's in the Soho House. So SohoHome.com and look at these pieces that I'm recommending right now to purchase like this instant. Love, love, love. And you are going to have that statement piece coupled with your statement sofa that we talked about with the perfect paint color and your decluttering. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a luxury life. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you next week because I have a huge announcement and I'm sharing it with you guys first. Yes, I have designed my own. Well, I guess you're just going to have to tune in next week to find out what it is. I love you wholeheartedly. I can't thank you enough for subscribing and for being always the kind hearted, 
sweet, loving followers that you are. I always say I have the absolute best community on YouTube. I receive nothing but love and support and I can't imagine what I would do or where I would be without you. You have single-handedly transformed my life. So with that said, I'm also letting you know that we have decided to do a vlog. Vlogs are going to go up on Saturdays once a week and it's a test. We're going to keep doing it to see if you guys like it. I find them to be riveting because it shows a lot of uh, personality. It shows exactly what happens in my life. There's no editing of any kind. I try and be as, as transparent and as honest as possible because I want you guys to get a vibe, a feel for what it's like to be Nina and the struggles. There are struggles, not everything's easy and the hard work that goes behind bringing you guys content and even the fun. You know, I like to share the fun as much as I love to share the struggles. So anyway, love you guys. And I'll see you guys again next week on this channel, The Red Elevator.